purpose of religion is to remind you of who you really are. God is always connecting with you 24 hours a day, 1,440 minutes a day, even while you sleep to help you become the child you once were. When God looks at you, he remembers you as a child. He remembers your first step, your first words, your very first smile. And when you do something for the first time, like starting your business or speaking in public for the first time, God places his hands inside your heart and breathes inside your lungs and reminds you that the first time you do anything, the world becomes new again. You become new again. And you're like a child experiencing some part of the world anew again. Especially when you do something scary, like going to the doctor to hear the results of your biopsy, or trying to walk again after your sciatica flares up, or when you're starting over again, like you're getting evicted from your home and you're looking for a new place to live, or you lost your job, or you just broke up with someone. All these things that make us feel insecure, scared, and alone. For God, what he's trying to do in these moments of your life is to help you breathe, pause, and then as you exhale, feel yourself releasing everything that doesn't matter anymore your boyfriend, your former boss, all your mistakes, your past, every bite of cheesecake you ever ate. <laughs> That's no longer part of this very next step that you're taking right now in your life. God is reaching into your brain and holding it with his fingers, gently massaging your amygdala, stimulating your memory of when you were a baby, and when you had no idea of what to expect, you were completely open to fully experiencing this moment. If you fell down, if you stood up, if you suddenly leaped forward or felt the wind on your cheek or you were startled by the sunlight waving through the leaves, you were so open to being in your life. You were not bracing yourself for the worst. You were ready to trust that life is waiting for you to become new again and to become who you were meant to be, which is to step into this life holding God's hands and allowing God to witness your life emerging. You allow God to witness you, to watch you, to let God encourage you, to let God feel your tears, to let God make you laugh. When you were a child, you let God hold your life in his palms. You let God follow you and walk beside you and watch over you and receive joy from watching you. You let God be obsessed with your progress. You let God coach you. You let God teach you. You let God help you every step of the way. And God misses those moments when you were a child because that's when God felt the closest to you. Jesus said, unless you become like a young child, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. And he also said the kingdom of God is within you. And what he means is, the space of innocence, purity, and boundless self-love, you will never be more abundant in your life than when you were a child. Because that's when your creative powers are at their height. When you were a child, you were a supreme co-creator. You co-created every moment of your life with God. You let God surround you with guardian angels. If there was a plastic bucket on the ground, you and God played with it. It was a hat, it was a drum, it was a table. 
was a castle. You could create with anything, with nothing, with everything. There was no such thing as lack. God is always reminding you of when you were a child because God is always reminding you of when you were a supreme co-creator in the exact same body and brain that you have now. You have all the tools within you to be the supreme co-creator you were born to be. You have it now, you have it always. You never lose that potential. When you're a child, you couldn't even speak grammatically correct. Like you could, sometimes you couldn't walk. You slept 16 hours a day. You had no income, no college degree, no credentials on your resume. Yet you were a supreme co-creator. You were equal with God because the two of you played together as equals. All God wants from you is this perfect relationship you had with him when you were a kid. God is ready to live your life at any moment, including now. And the way that he's able to coax you to be ready to live your life is to remind you of the way that you were when you were a child. To remind you that you didn't have everything. You were everything. You were everything everything in a tiny bundle of infinite self-love and infinite trust in your co-creator who was God. Because you reached out your hand to the divine when you were a child, you considered God your equal. That is the greatest honor to God that you can give. To consider yourself God's equal and co-creative partner because then God can use your life as a vessel through which cosmic creative energy can flow and like a waterfall bless whoever comes near you